welcome back to another video this week i wanted to show you guys how to make your own sunscreen stick so you have to be very careful when you are making your own sunscreen you can't just use regular zinc this is what i have found out you need to use it's called z coat and it is specifically for spf sunscreen and it is eight times the price as your regular zinc so it is quite expensive and that's why mineral-based sunscreen is more expensive and there is a difference between the z-coat zincs there's a water soluble for lotion so with sunscreen lotion with a water and then there is the oil soluble which you would be using for this formula and yeah so you'd have to make sure that you're using the appropriate zinc it's a really natural formula and really easy to make I don't know I mean it's more cost effective but not by a lot so you kind of got to weigh the odds if you do buy a bigger package it would be more economical but expensive as an initial purchase so yeah just things to rule out and yeah we'll get started right now and so here I'm just using a standard deodorant stick. You could just reuse one of your old ones, whatever works for you. And we are going to put a heat safe container on your scale and you will be tearing the scale to zero. And here now we will be adding our sunflower oil at 0 0.50 ounces. And we will tear the scale back to zero and we will be adding 0 0.45 ounces of coconut oil. And again, we will tear the scale to zero. And now we are going to be adding beeswax and we will be using 0 0.55 ounces of beeswax and tear the scale to zero again. And we will be adding our cocoa butter and this I bought off Amazon. If you're interested, I will link it below. And I'm adding three wafers, which equates to 0 0.25 ounces of cocoa butter. And here I'm just adding it to a hot bath, which is a pot with around two inches of water. And I will put that on a stove and I will let it melt completely. Once it's melted, I just tear the scale back to zero. And this is where we are going to be adding our Z-Coat Zinc Oxide and you want it to be the oil soluble version. And definitely when you're handling zinc, cover your nose and mouth. You don't want to be inhaling this at 0 0.40 ounces. And this was around 22.5%, which equates to roughly, it's over 20 SPF and maybe around a 35 SPF. And now we are going to be mixing it really well and just make sure that you're um, blending fork is appropriate. Mine was not the first round. And now we are just going to mix it for a good one to two minutes. And then once that's done, you just get to pour it into your container of choice and let it harden on the counter. Here you can see it glides on really nicely. And yeah, it's around like a 20 above SPF. If you make it equivalent to the percentage in a natural SPF at that percentage range, it's around a 35, but I don't want to say it is or it isn't. I'm going to leave it up to you. As you see here, I didn't do a large stick. It is in a standard size uh, deodorant container, so that is big. The stick sunscreens that are on the market are in smaller containers, so yeah. This is a trial size that I was experimenting with. It is nice, it goes on nicely. You can smell the cocoa butter in there, which is nice, but if you wanted to mask the smell, you can always use your own essential oil. So here we go, let's go in the light. It goes on nicely, it doesn't stick while it glides on, so it glides on nice. And I will run it under water and I'll show you guys sort of the beading effect so it would be semi waterproof sweat resistant for the typical ones on the market are up to 80 minutes so I would say like you know 30 minutes to an hour but obviously try it out and see how you go 
yeah and so you can't really like it goes on nicely uh, what I can see is a bit of a, a white shine which is what you want to see with zinc yeah I can just put it on my face so typically people put it on their face and put it on their face not so much where you have lots of hair I feel like the um, the lotions are better for that. So as you can see, <laughs> becoming quite a bit more pasty. And, yeah. and then you could really just like rub it in. If you wanted to rub the rest in, it goes on really nice. I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. Just remember that when you are using zinc, you cannot just use the regular zinc oxide. So just a price comparison, zinc oxide in a 454 gram package is, runs around $10 to $12. And the same amount in the Z-Coat water soluble or oil soluble zinc oxide runs around $80. So it's eight times the price. So it is a lot more expensive, and that is why mineral sunscreen is more expensive. The difference between them is that the particle sizes are smaller, and they dissolve more readily in either the oil solution or the water solution. They are still non-nano and safe for your skin. Yeah, so just keep that in mind, and I hope you guys found this video helpful, and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.